going back that far, that's like getting all emotional thinking about it, you know, that's cool. Actor and activist Cal Penn was raised in suburban New Jersey, surrounded by extended family, all living far from their roots in India. Cal told me that while growing up and struggling to fit in, he was especially inspired by his maternal grandfather, a man named Indravadan Butt. In his youth, Indravadan had marched with Mahatma Gandhi. He set an example for Cal, connecting him to his family's past, while also pointing him towards the future. My grandfather used to have this photo of Gandhi hanging mm -hmm. in his house. And after they passed away, you know, uh, I said, what's happening to that, that photo? I said, well, why don't you take it? You, you have the biggest connection to it. You've always had a thing for it. Um, and I had the chance to hang that in my wall at, uh, in my office at the White House. Oh, that's cool. Uh, as just sort of a, just a reminder, you know? Yeah. Cal wanted to know about Intravadin's roots. We were able to identify Intravadin's parents, Chotalal and Don Lakshmi Butt. Both were born around 1880 near Amode, a town in western India. But that's where the paper trail ran out. And for a time, it seemed that that was all we would ever be able to find. Genealogy in India is notoriously difficult due to a lack of records and irregular naming practices. To go further, we needed a break. Fortunately, we got one. Our research has discovered that Cal's mother's family has long maintained an oral history. That history traces his maternal roots back nine generations in an unbroken line, all in and around the town of Amud. Look at those. Look, read those names for me. Start with you and go up. <laughs> uh, Kalpan Suresh Modi, Asmita Indravadan Bhatt, Indravadan Chotalal Bhatt, Chotalal Ranchadas Bhatt, Ranchodlal Bhatt, Govardhan Bhatt, Kashi Ram Bhatt, Dulji Ram Bhatt, and Kasanji Bhatt. That's your great, 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 great grandfather. That's awesome. Kusanji, who was likely born around the year 1700. Wow. You have DNA from all those people. That's right? awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> That's cool. It's a whole lot of butts. It is, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a New Jersey branch of something no, with exactly. deep, deep right. roots yeah. way over yeah. in a mode. Yeah. No, that's heavy. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Continuous. Yeah, going back that far, that's like getting all emotional thinking about it. You know, that's cool. Well, you have every right to be emotional. Man. I mean, those are your people, man. Yeah. Does it make you feel more Indian to put it in a vulgar American way? I actually think it it, it makes me feel a lot more global, and I hope that doesn't sound trite or no, cliche. I like that. But... I feel like my sense of patriotism as an American is in that foundation of we are all from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes us beautiful and unique. We're all from somewhere else. Right, in America. that's, that's what, right, <laughs> yeah. we're all from somewhere else. And so this is just more of that context. Mm -hmm. Having those stronger roots makes me feel more American in an interesting way. Seeing these names going back to 1700 now, mm -hmm. that feels really empowering. Discovering the stories of our ancestors can be a profoundly transformative experience changing the way we see ourselves, our families, and our shared history. To see more incredible stories, click here.